Who needs Blender or any other 3D software when you have After Effects to create awesome 3D animations? But how do you do that? Well, you just need two things, a shape layer and a different render engine inside After Effects. Let's start with the render engine. When I create a new composition, I can not only choose the resolution and frame rate, I can also go to the 3D renderer tab, just the place where we need to be. The only thing we now need to do is change to renderer from classic 3D to Cinema 4D. But that's it. You can in fact make everything 3D, almost everything. For instance, I can create a circle shape with only a stroke. Then my next step is making it a 3D layer, and immediately you can see Nothing. I only have new properties to play with. And the main property is gonna be the geometry options. And there we just need to increase the extrusion depth, which already does something. To see it better, let me rotate my shape layer. It's not super visible, but you can already see some depth going on. Let's make it look better and more 3D-like. We just have to add some lights. For this, I can right-click in my timeline panel and go to New, then Lights. Or I can go to the Layer menu on top, again New, and then Lights. I really like to use the point lights, but you can also use spot and ambient lighting. Just try them out and see what you like. Before I hit OK, let's pick a color, maybe something pinkish. And boom, we have a 3D object inside After Effects, which we can move around however we want. Now I want to make it look better, so I'm creating a typical tree point lighting. And for this I'll be using two extra lights. I'm also going to use an extra viewer to get a top view, that way I can arrange my light better. These are the basics of cinematic lighting, and consist out of a key light the main light, a fill light which lifts up the shadow and then you have a backlight to create a highlight on the object and pull it loose from the background. Now my object looks a whole lot better. That's right Timon, it looks better and my next step is going to be creating a camera. Again right click in the timeline panel, go to new and choose a camera. In the camera pop up I can choose the focal length and let's go for a more telly look. So I choose 60 millimeters. A little bit telly but not too much. And now the only thing left to do is animate the object however I want. I can animate the object or the camera. And I created this cool animation with a couple of keyframes, nothing too fancy. If you want to know how I did it or just have a look at my project, I'll leave a download link below. Now we can do this exact technique with every logo that we want. One downside, it needs to be an illustrator file. And even worse, it needs to be vectorized. However, normally when creating a logo animation, you probably have a vector file of your logo. If not, you can always use the live trace option inside Illustrator. It works good, but not always. Okay. I have my Illustrator logo file, then I just need to add the logo to my composition. However, if I make my logo a 3D layer, I will see the geometry options, but no extrude. How can I make it 3D then? Well, super simple. Right click on the layer, go to create and choose create shapes from vector layers. This will leave you with a shape layer and now you can do all the previous thing we just talked about, giving the possibility to make every logo 3D inside After Effects. And that's all the knowledge you need to create this stunning 3D motion animation. Now if you want to create some other cool motion design, check out this video here on the left and learn everything about three tools you need to know about motion design. Thank you so much for watching.